Doctors, when I go outside in the winter, why are my fingers and my nose the first things to get cold? Very simple explanation. When you're outside in the cold, your body's doing everything possible to conserve heat where it needs it most. Your vital organs, your heart, your lungs, your brain. So it literally constricts the blood vessels in your appendages, your arms, your feet, and your nose. The reason that becomes an issue is we all know that you have to think about frostbite. There are three different stages on that trip down frostbite lane. The first is frost nip, and this white is meant to represent freezing tissues. It's very superficial, so all you may feel here is a little bit of tingling in your hands or your nose or your toes. Superficial frostbite is where frost nip leads. You can see the tissues are starting to freeze deeper and deeper. At this point, you may feel burning. Your, your feet and hands and nose may feel hot. That's not exactly what's going on because what's really happening is you're moving more and more towards what we call deep frostbite. When deep frostbite occurs, your tissues are actually frozen all the way down into the area where your capillaries and blood vessels live. And the reason that that's such a huge issue is once you get to deep frostbite, those tissues are dying. And if you don't rewarm your appendages quickly, you're going to lose them. So regular blood flows without any difficulties to your feet, to your toes, to your fingers, to your nose. But what occurs once you've reached this stage of deep frostbite is your blood itself can start to freeze. And as you see here, it's coming out like frozen, sludge. like sludge. Moving much more slowly. So your tissues, they're not getting oxygen. They're further dehydrated. And then let's talk about what happens. We've seen people who've had deep frostbite. Well, you know, a great analogy, you have three stages. This is like a burn, first degree, second degree, third degree. And, and people don't realize that really cold temperatures can have as devastating effect as a burn. I had a case, a gentleman fell asleep outside back east in the snow, and I end up having to remove his fingers because they were black first, but then it traveled all the way to his wrists, had to remove both his hands, all his toes, and ultimately his legs to just below the knees. So it, it can be a devastating problem. So winter preparation is so very key. If you're outside in the cold weather, you're starting to lose sensation in your hands, your feet, and your nose, it's time to go inside and rewarm them before you get back out into the cold temperatures.